To begin, remove the lug bolts and front wheel from the vehicle. Next, remove the brake line from the shock body. For some models, the brake line will be attached by the rubber grommet or bolted to the strut body. Detach the brake line by either pulling the rubber fitting off the strut bracket or by removing the bolt from the strut body. Remove the two nuts and bolts holding the strut to the hub of the vehicle. Under the hood, remove the nut holding the strut to the shock tower. You can now remove the strut from the wheel well. We recommend replacing the factory mounts and bearings on the front coilovers for installation. Place the strut mount and bearing onto the raceline coilover and secure with the factory slim nut. You can now position the coilover into the shock tower. Place the top strut cap onto the shock piston and tighten down with the supplied coilover nut. If you're installing the Primo kit, you can now press the damper's adjustment knob onto the shock. Lift the coilover onto the mount and reinstall the two nuts and bolts to secure the coilover to the hub. Reattach the brake line to the shock body using the rubber grommet or bolted brake line bracket. Reinstall the front wheel and the installation for this corner is complete. To begin the rear installation, remove the lug bolts and wheel from the vehicle. Remove the single nut and bolt holding the factory strut to the rear axle. For some models, it will be necessary to remove the rear seat or rear cabin side panels to gain access to the rear shock towers. The rear seat can be removed by removing the four nuts holding the center armrest backing to the seat. In the trunk, the two brackets from the center armrest can be removed. You will now lift the rear seat clips on each side of the seat, and the rear seat can be lifted and removed from the vehicle. With the rear parcel shelf lifted slightly, remove the top nut holding the rear strut to the shock tower. You can now remove the rear strut from the vehicle. To install the raceline coilover, begin by placing the OEM washer onto the shock. Place the supplied rear sleeve onto the shock and slide the lower bushing mount onto the coilover. Place the coilover into its position in the rear shock tower. Place the OEM top washer onto the upper bushing mount and place these items onto the coilover. You can now install the two nuts onto the coilover to secure the unit to the shock tower. If you're installing the Primo kit, you can now press the damper's adjustment knob onto the shock. Slide the seat back into position, taking caution to make sure the seat back clips slide into their proper positions. Place the center armrest brackets into place and tighten the four nuts holding the center armrest into place. Reinstall the nut and bolt holding the coilover to the hub of the vehicle. You can now reinstall the rear wheel and the installation for this corner is complete. 